Hello world, I'm Brandcliff. Oh man, guys, check this out. I'm uploading a video on a Babel post on the same day it's being posted. Wow. Yeah, guys, sorry. I, I, di I didn't do something on the last one. And uh, that's just because I feel like if I'm too late on the draw to make a video about one of these, I feel like it's just not worth doing anymore. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it is. You guys can tell me down in the comments below how you feel about it. But one of the biggest draws of news is that you catch it while it's news, so I feel like, eh, that element isn't really there. Anyways, this is a second quality of life patch going live in KR on March 11th, which is Thursday. Now, I gotta say, and maybe this is a little mean, I always see people asking Elsword for quality of life improvements. I feel like if you're always asking for a higher quality life, that's pretty indicative that your life sucks, and you should do something about it. Anyways, we're gonna talk about what's happening in this one. First off, oh yeah, also this is not a blind reaction video. Uh, I, I've already read everything that we're seeing in this one. They are going to be changing the reforge requirements. Now, the way that this was formatted wasn't the best. Uh, this isn't a criticism to Babel because this is how it was on the actual Korean website as well. But uh, they put everything uh, in before and then you gotta scroll all the way down to see the after. Uh, that said, it's a little weird because later on in the same post they put them next to each other. Anyways, uh, so yeah, reforged costs are going to be down. Uh, it is the cost of the ED, the magic crystals, the amethyst, and the glacium. Now, I, I could go through this table, I'm not going to. I will say, let's put it like this, uh, the cost of going from stage 20 to 21 is uh, 2.1 million ED, 400 magic crystals, 15 amethyst, and 8,000 glacium. It is, is, is that how you say that? Glacium, glacium? It's being reduced to 1,800,300 magic crystals, 9 amethysts, and 6,000 glacium. It's not the biggest decrease. I feel like they could have gone a little harder than that, but eh. It, this, this is something that people have been asking for for a long time, and they've finally delivered on it. And I guess they probably didn't want to go too hard on it, considering that one theme of a lot of the things that have been going on lately is dropping the amount of ED circulating in the economy right now because it turns out they've still got the botting problem uh, for real and they haven't exactly done a whole lot to address that. Anyways, the next part of this is that the gauge increase is being increased, which if you don't know what that means, uh, whenever you do not successfully get the reforge, you are going to get more gauge uh, than you would have before. Admittedly, some of these buffs are... Do these count as buffs? I don't know, some of these are pretty sizable. Like, uh, here it goes from 2.5 to 5, that's twice as much. At the same time though, sometimes not all of them are all that great. Like, 18 to 19, it goes from 2.5 to 2.5, so... Eh, it, it varies, it's not like they used a flat multiplier across the board. Uh, they, they picked a different number for every stage, so it's a thing. Anyways, third section, the Rosso Raid Exchange. Now, yet again, they put the before, and then you gotta scroll down for the after. Uh, but instead of scrolling up and down repeatedly because that might make you sick, I'm just gonna say it like this. Uh, take everything that you knew about how the exchange worked before, and just throw it out, just... We're just going to delete that data and we're going to replace it with what it's going to be. So, for two crystals you can get 300 fossil potions. For three crystals you can select either 60 colored unique mystic stones or 10 giant unique mystic stones. I mean, excuse me, unique giant mystic stones. For five crystals you can either get one raid reset ticket or one accessory cube, which I, I find it kind of weird how um, it's split. You can either select one of the accessory cubes or you can select the raid reset ticket. I don't think these things really needed to be separated. Again, that is not a criticism to Babel because that's how it actually worked in-game, 
but I don't know, I think it's a little unnecessary. For 20 crystals, you can get the weapon. And then for marks, uh, for 2 marks, you can either get 10 bean sherbets, 10 fossil potions, or an ad adaptation elixir. Uh, for 40 marks, uh, you can get more unique mystic stones or unique giant mystic stones, and for 350 marks, you can get the rate reset ticket. The title switch system. Yeah, so you can't use it in uh, PvP or Arida, but ah, uh, the stellar moments. Anyways, um, yeah, yeah, you can you you can press a button and then it'll pull up four titles, and then you can press the title that you want. Uh, this is something that people have been asking for for a while as well, so hey, it's here. Uh, event skin sip changes. So for dungeons that have more than four party members, if at least four party members hit skip, then it skips instead of needing the entire party to do the thing. Uh, third job quest, five out of five changes. Before, defeat 20 spatio rippers, change to clear L tower defense five times, both story and normal counts. <sighs> Alright, let's read some comments. Uh, there aren't many comments because I'm actually pretty quick on the draw for this one. The only things in this post that interest me are the reforge changes, the title switch system, and the third job change. Well, that's already most of this post, so uh, you're interested in most of this post. Congratulations. The reforge changes are nice till stage 15, but there's still an issue with the reforge durability. Would have been nice if they just removed that. It could have been done much earlier. The game is in terrible condition since Rigamore. It's not bad, but it's not enough. Reforge ED cost should just be removed. Cash shop item for durability as well, lol. We just want to feel rewarded for the time we spend on the game and not spend an absurd amount of money on all our, our procedures. Also, big share patch when. At this point, just make a new gear so that we don't have to farm every day with a stupid amount of money. People didn't complain as much about needing gold stamps to trade unique L tiers as they do with Reforge now. I agree though, we need better PvE methods to obtain Chloride Seeds, current drop rates for 5% are a joke. Alright, what do I think about this patch? Well, uh, the way that it is organized aside, I'm not sure because... God, okay, so, you know what, L let me make a comparison. There's this picture that's been going around uh, from a guy who went to McDonald's and he, and he ordered a burger with cheese on the side. And it's just like a slab of cheese literally on the side of the burger. He probably meant it like, have the cheese be given to me separately. And I sort of feel like that applies here because like, yes, this is stuff that people have been asking for. So I, I feel like we should be pretty excited about it. And hey, some people are pretty excited about it. But outside looking in, because yes, I quit this game a while ago. Uh, I don't know. I, I feel like it could have been a little more interesting than this. Um, like I said earlier, the drops of the cost of reforging, they're not as big as they could be, but I understand. They still probably want to drain uh, resources out of the economy instead of doing something about the botting problem. Uh, not my ideal way of going about things, but maybe they just haven't figured out a solution yet? I don't know. Uh, Reforging, yeah, like I said earlier, they didn't use a flat multiplier, it's kind of weird, but eh, it's fine. With the Rosso Raid Exchange, you can't get accessory cubes with marks anymore, you can only get them using crystals. Which, that's my takeaway from this, I guess. It is nice that you can get more unique mystic stones than before, considering you get 3 crystals and you get 60 unique mystic stones, compared to before, you get 1 crystal and you get one mystic stone, and it's random, so there's very clearly a sizable improvement there. The title switch system. Here's what I think about this. This is the thing that I am actually the most opinionated about, and here's why. Some people have asked me if I would ever come back to Elsword for realsies, and one of the things that I would have a hard time coming to grips with is how much more complex some of the game mechanics have been, and I know that we all joke like, oh, class is brain dead, easy whale, GG, just press buttons. But I don't know, I take a look at this title switch system, and this is something that people have been wanting for a long time, but I think like, is this really fun to you guys? I don't know, I imagine this for a sec. You do Heart of Behemoth 800 times, you get the title, you do, um, wh what's it called, uh... Got the third dungeon in Atlas. Wow, I ran it like a thousand times, and I still don't remember what it's called. But let's say you do that dungeon, you get the title. And yes, 
I know they made these titles easier to get, but stay with me here for a sec. The idea of switching titles on the fly. The idea that like I need to input a button command to switch titles to optimize my attack before I do it while performing the same attacks in real time, because like obviously the game doesn't pause while you're switching titles. I don't know, needing to switch titles on the fly to optimize my attacks, that doesn't really seem fun to me. And like, I feel like it doesn't even really make sense in an in-universe context, and anyway, how does that even work? But, I mean, then again, you could also argue, how do titles give stats to begin with? How does that work? And yeah, yeah, okay, you know what? How does Link carry all that stuff? It doesn't matter. But it just doesn't seem fun to me. The idea of needing to get four separate titles and then always be switching them at the speed of light to fully optimize whatever you're about to do. For some people, they might like that because they might just want Elser to have a higher skill ceiling, and I understand. And for some people, they just want to be able to use both of the titles that they've gained. Like, once I got Commander's Dignity, it was kind of hard to decide when I actually needed Reaper, and being able to make use of both titles, that's pretty cool. The thing I don't like is, I feel like now that the developers have given the player base this kind of power, they're going to expect everyone to fully make use of it, whether they want to or not. And I don't know, that doesn't sit well with me. Event scene skip changes, yeah, that's nice. Uh, third job quest changes, that's nice. But third job was a really long time ago. Like, it was like over three years ago, right? So I feel like them taking this long to make it easier is just really mean. And on the note of developers making things easier, I don't know, uh, looking at everything that's going on, it's nice, but here's something that I worry about. I feel like this game kind of has gotten to a point where you really need to rely on cooperation and handouts from the developers to really get anywhere without losing your mind on the grind. Because there are a lot of times where, like, you're, you're just gonna want the devs to give you stuff because you're gonna feel kinda stuck without it. Like, take job classes, for example. I thought that one benefit of having the L Search Party collection system is that people would make every class and then they wouldn't need to worry about job changes anymore, but that is not what happened. How often have you seen people asking for job change events, like, after the last job change event has just ended? But it's kinda weird that you really need cooperation with the devs in order to get anywhere. In Old Sword, when secret dungeons were the end of the game, except maybe Henner's, it was very slightly better than a secret dungeon set for like 10 times the time and effort. But back then, you didn't really rely on the devs to give you things because they usually didn't. You, you got everything with your own two hands, and I liked that. Nowadays, you really need the devs to work with you. In fact, looking at the way they've made all this stuff easier, it actually brings me back to when these sets were new, actually. I remember when they had just introduced the new armor set. And some people were actually really mad at KOG because they thought that the power increase that you got for switching to the new armor set wasn't worth the large amount of time it would take to actually get the new armor set. People actually calculated the amount of time it would take to get the set, just the set alone, like the pieces, and it could take over a month, and people thought that is not worth how much time it takes. Of course, people are going to do it anyway because the entirety of this game is just about making yourself stronger all the time. You didn't really have a choice. But I think about how much worse it was back then and how they finally eased up a little bit on it now. And I just think like, wow, you know, they really should have just done this to begin with. This is how it should have been from the start. So, I don't know. Overall, it's just like, you know, yeah, this is something that people have asked for, and if this is something that you've asked for, then, well, they gave you what you asked for, you can't really complain there. <sighs> oh well. Anyways, that's it from me for now. Thank you for watching, I'm Brancliffe. Goodbye, everyone.